This demo is going to deal with creating a section plane through an assembly, yet removing the section plane so that the section is visible but not the plane itself. So let's open, a, open up a sample file, ACES sample 1 here from our samples directory, and let's create a section plane. That's this button here. We'll do an x-axis plane. Uh, so there's a couple things you can do here too. Let's say you establish uh, the plane that you like. What you can do is keep the section plane there and remove this little icon by holding down the shift button and then clicking the x-axis button uh, where uh, the section plane was created. Uh, let's say we do that with a y-axis there. Hold down shift and click the uh, y-axis button to uh, remove that little uh, section plane tool. And again, you can uh, just simply click the button to add or remove it. However, what we may want to do is we have the section plane view here, but we don't even want to see this uh, black outline here, which represents the section view. Let me close my window. What we have to do is trick TransMagic. This is sort of a workaround to accomplish this task. And let's go to the top view. And let's zoom way out. Uh, let's set our uh, perspective to orthographic so it's parallel so we know we see that light, nice uh, sharp edge that defines our plane there. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to move out and then orient our view so that it's uh, kind of over here. Um, and now we're actually going to physically in space move the parts. So the plane has been established right here. But what you do is click Control A. So you've uh, selected all the parts. In order for the Control A to work, by the way, this uh, icon needs to be selected. That's the single click. And now what we have is a move selection. So we've selected the, the assembly. Even though there may be parts over here, they're selected too, even if you can't see them. Click this button, and it's really a mouse drag. So the problem with this approach is we can see that we're getting the section plane properly. Uh, but we're, um, it's not precise, you know, it's still eyeballs. So you can still move in there, zoom, re-click the uh, move selection, um, because our section plane is infinite, and that one little black square just kind of shows where it is relatively speaking. There we go. Um, and you can even move it in here, and as long as you're still selected, um, click the move selection button, you know, and you can move in and out. So you can kind of get back to where you were, um, now if we zoom all the way out, we still have this section plane over here. Um, click on the single select button and then click anywhere in the empty space uh, to deselect everything. So this is always going to be drawn here, but we're kind of tricking it by creating the section plane and then moving the assembly with the uh, uh, move selection function. So what we have here now is a pretty clean display. Um, if you get to an orientation, you may still be able to view that uh, black uh, uh, outline there. Um, switch maybe back to uh, parallel uh, perspective or, uh, or horizon perspective. And, um, you know, I think uh, that should do it. That's uh, hopefully what we were trying to accomplish there. Uh, give us a call if you have any questions.